Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ESP.NET Core. Today I am going to show you migration in Entity Framework Core. So first of all, download uh, .NET EF uh, using CLI, .NET Tool install dash dash global .NET EF version 3.1.3. After download the .NET EF, uh, it's a global tool uh, to download it easily by using your command line. And uh, after that, you can open your command prompt and how to open your command prompt just go to your uh, project folder uh, there is migration tutorial and after in the search bar or sorry in in the address bar uh, just type cmd and enter uh, you got it that screen after uh, pressing the uh, enter button just uh, take an help dot net ef dash dash help and the following command and uses is uh, there with the example you can follow uses uh, that your screen that is dotnet ef options and command so dotnet ef options is their version help but command is their database db context and migrations so dotnet ef migrations and the name uh, migrations and add is there but in the migration uh, in the migration add but migration name is missing in the syntax so just check the syntax of the add migration command so just again you can take help section again so just type dot net uh, ef init migration that is the direct thing you can do init migration is it uh, right syntax of the migration i think it is wrong so just you can take help if you want to uh, take help uh, how to do add migration command in dotnet so you can use dotnet ef migration help so just write it migrations and dash dash help so related to the migration you uh, by, uh, dotnet cli provide uh, a help section and uses also check uses dotnet ef migration option and command option is there and command is there that is the add so again you can write dotnet ef migrations and command name that is add dash again help add how to uh, do add command in migration that is the right name that is the name of the migration so uses is there dotnet ef migration add and the option and argument argument and options so argument is there the name of the migration so just you can write the syntax is dotnet ef migration add and the name of the migration is the correct syntax to add migration in your uh, visual studio project in dotnet core projects uh, so just write your that is the correct syntax dotnet ef migrations add and the name of the migration that is in it so build started build succeed so migration is completed add my by using the migrations uh, add migrations command and uh, you have to use update database command is also there mm, just you have to check database command to manage the database and uses is dotnet ef and command so use dotnet ef and command name is database but how to use update database command so just again check it help dotnet ef dash dash help database how to use uh, in the dotnet ef use database there is uh, the following thing is large where you have to check uh, dotnet ef dash dash help database uh, you can use update the name dotnet ef database and option and command name is a drop and database is there so you can apply it directly dotnet ef database and database command that is update so use dotnet ef database and database command name that is database update so this is the syntax to update your database using cli so uh, unrecognized command or argument data oops the spelling mistake is here dotnet ef database and the name of the database is 
a is missing in the spelling of database so after update the database you have uh, got a physical table in your database in your sql server local db so build started and build succeed and finally done to and check your database using sql server so just open database command and uh, your microsoft uh, your migration example database is there in your sql server object explorer and check your init migration under the folder name migration yeah is there and model student app settings database migration example yeah is all things are there and just now how to do migration using package manager console so just you can use get help section by using get help you got all these command related to entity framework core if you, you are using get help without any uh, thing just got a space just like that server help uh, save help update help uh, about entity framework core so just again type it get help about entity framework core so you just uh, get information about entity framework core commands like uh, add migrations remove migrations update migrations etc so add migration and the migration name is first before any changes in the model you got two classes both are empty if nothing changes in the model that is up and down methods are empty in the first migration class because here is nothing changes but if you change anything in the model then up section up method and the over overridden up method and overridden down method is uh, taking some uh, code and statements you can say just after that again at migrations command applied you got a simple syntax at column string email now after that you got an uh, you have to apply update database command again by using package manager console so just done it so these this is the two way to use uh, uh, migration in entity framework core um, the first is cli and the second one is package manager console so thank you guys for watching this video keep watching